So I've never drawn a game jam before. But I've been dabbling with Godot for my side project. I wouldn't say I'm particularly strong at coding as I expect most of my stats into drawing and art. This game jam aka Monkey Jam is hosted by YouTuber and streamer C.Fe and it spans for a total of 3 days. I will refer to him as Connor for the rest of the video. The top 20 games will be played on stream and the top 5 will be awarded a cash prize of $1,000. These are the criteria that every submission will be judged on. Fun and game design, audio, graphics, originality and innovation, Last but not least, the team. As I mentioned before, I am not strong in coding. So I have joined Connor's Discord server and found another Godot user who is strong at coding. As this is my first time joining, I'm unsure if it was common for game jams to have a Discord server for people to team up. I would imagine most people would team up with someone they know in real life anyway. I believe what led to my success in finding a partner in crime is having an online portfolio. I made a dedicated pixel art portfolio page as I'm dabbling in it more these days. The team to no one's surprise was cycling. I believe the Monkey Jam is a way for Connor and his community to relieve and to celebrate his successful 14 day cyclotron. I didn't know what to expect but I rushed enough projects during art school to come up with a simple plan. Ah oh, shit, here we go again. Since the deadline was just 3 days, we decided to scope the project according to our current skill level. We both quickly agreed on the pixel art style as we are both familiar with it. Most game jams and indie projects use pixel art as it is easy to work with, very hard to mess up and very appealing. Our game draws heavy inspiration from Google Chrome's dinosaur game with inclusion of vehicle platforming action using arrow keys. We planned for a skill that clears all vehicles using voice activation but opted for using the spacebar instead. For art direction, I decided to give the overall game a really purplish look to reference the colour of the Trash Days podcast, except for the monkey and the collectibles. It gave the whole game a scene wave vibe which makes the background music an obvious choice. To add some replayability, we added a shop that trades collectibles for power-ups. The start of the show is the clown monkey they have created, referencing the mascot monkey that Connor so often uses for his stream. I really wanted to add some clown elements as it adds to the toy-like look and it is the only way I can clown on trash days for their clown takes. Some fun facts about the game is that the tofu car is from Initial D and the truck is some generic Sega. Instead of a typical bread for the aerial obstacles, we chose a flying banana to add to the humor and the cheekiness of the game. We wanted to make more power ups but just chose 3 that is easy to implement as the deadline is closing in. Things went according to plan as I continued to lose sleep animating the thumbnail and drawing Iron Mouse in her shop. Our effort paid off as we ranked 14 among the 151 submissions. Even though we didn't win, it was a fruitful experience for both of us. Lady Luck was smiling at us and our game was the first to be played in the stream. Okay, wow, the animation is sick on the jump, I like that. I gotta get the cinnamon rolls, do I have to avoid those things in the air? <laughs> I was grateful that my first game jam was with the C Dot VA community. They were very kind, sweet but honest about our game during the voting process. Here are some tools we have used to help with collaborating online. GitHub for collaborating on Godot and FigJam for brainstorming and using it as a virtual whiteboard. If you are using GitHub to collaborate, make sure you have tested with your partner before the game jam and make sure that everyone knows how to use it. 
If you're keen to participate in a game jam, go download any free game engine and go play some games on itch.io. Most game jams, if not all the game jams, are held there. If you're interested in playing the game, the link is in the description box below. Subscribe for more videos and let us know in the comments what do you think about the game. Okay, thanks, bye!